Hi everyone, I'm Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron. In this video, I'm going to help Radio Master T8 Pro owners update their multi-protocol module within their radio. Now this is important, the dev guys work hard on OpenTX and the multi-protocol modules to update it and give us new features and new protocols. Now we need to go to websites and download the uh, software and I'm going to show you in this video how, how to do that. But what I wanted to say before we carry on is that um, the dev guys do this for nothing and you can actually go to the OpenTX website and the multi-protocol module website and, and donate to them. Uh, which will helps them uh, produce more updates for, for us. Anyway, now let's get back to the uh, Radio Master T8 Pro. Now the T8 Pro is being shipped with, uh, a straight, to me, a strange setting, not a default setting. Now on the radio, when you plug your radio in, it should ask whether you want to use it as a joystick or as um, uh, to be able to access the SD card in it. And it doesn't give you that option. Now we can go and change that. So the first part of my video is going to show you how to do this. So we can change it so that when we plug our radio in, we can see the SD card. So let's switch over to the radio. Now I've noticed the defaults, if we go to our system menu and we page across. Now I would suggest you change this. We go to radio setup and then if we page up, which will bring us to the bottom, we need to change this. Radio Master has set this USB mode up as joystick, which is uh, not really, I would say, the default. We need to change that and go enter and change it to ask so that when we plug our radio into the computer, it allows us to see the USB card within the radio. So this is the first thing we need to change before we're going to do the upgrade of the multi protocol module. So we're going to push enter and then we can return out of that. Now let me show you where to download the SD card contents for your radio. All links are in the description below. We need to go to this website, links in the description below. We're going to go to the latest release of OpenTX. And if we go down to the download links, you can see the SD card contents there. So let's click. And then we need to choose our radio and you can see all the different radios supported by OpenTX and we want the T8. We click there and then we want the latest version. So click and it should start downloading. And there we go, the download's completed. Now we, I need to go to my downloads file and there you can see the file. I'm just going to cut that from there and take it to my radio radio master t8 pro directory i'm going to paste it in there now what i'm going to do now is double click it and we're going to unzip that folder there we go zip extract now i've already formatted my SD card that I'm going to use in my radio and I'm going to add that to my computer. Now this process will take some time for it to unzip and then we're going to copy it over to the SD card. Now we've unzipped all the we've unzipped all the files that we need so we're going to select all and all I'm going to do now is copy those, go to my SD card and paste it in there. And there we go. You can see our SD card contents are on our SD card. Now let's download the Motor Protocol module firmware. Built from the future. Now, when I shot this video, there was a different version of the multi-protocol module. Now, there was a problem with that. So what I want to direct you to is let's go and look at the computer. You can see the latest version of the multi-protocol module firmware is 1.3.3.0. And the one in my video was this one, which was 1.3.2.86. Now, there is there was a problem with the uh, T8 Pro that some of the radios, the earlier were sent out with a chip that had less memory. So let's uh, switch over and I'll show you what to do. So this is the version and any later version that you can use is 1.3.3.0. 
we go to the multi-protocol module download site and download firmware so if we click on the multi-module selection you'll now see that we have an option for both the TX12 and the T8 of a 64 KB now this is the smaller one um, a smaller chip with a smaller memory so you would need to pick this one so what I suggest is if you use one and it doesn't work try the other one um, it shouldn't brick your radio uh, if you uh, put the wrong one on there because you should be able to go back and put the firmware on uh, the different version so in my case with my radio I had to use this one here the 64 KB one um, and you will just have to pick which one you may already know what chip is inside your uh, radio but I'm not sure uh, how you how you would tell that whether you have to take the radio apart but that's what I suggest you do is you try either one maybe try this one first and then go on to that one so let's carry on with the video now we need to go to this website and we'll be able to download our firmware we click the download firmware go to that page now here we are going to pick which module we have now in the Radio Master T8 Pro, it's the CC2500 chip, so we pick that option. It's the latest, it is uh, 0.86, and we need to pick the correct channel mapping. Now, this is my channel mapping in my radio. Yours may be different, you will need to check that. So, now we need to download these two files. So, we're going to click that one. Okay, that's downloaded and click the second one. And they've downloaded. So we now need to go back to our downloads folder and you can see the, the files are there. Now, what we need to do is copy those files from there and I put them into my radios file. So if we go to here, into my T8 Pro, you can see they're in there. As you can see, I've already unzipped the multi-lure script. So if we double click onto the folder and then we go into the scripts and then the tools. This is showing us where we need to put these files into our SD card. So we're going to go select all and copy. Then we're going to go into scripts and as it said, tools. And then we're going to right click and paste and then we're just going to replace those files. So that's that process done. We can go back to our folder for our radio and there is the multi-module update, the firmware update, 8.86. So we need to copy that and where you put that is within the firmware folder on your on your SD card. You can see there's nothing in there because we haven't done any updates yet. So we put that into there. Before we remove the SD card from the computer and put it into our radio, we need to change the size of this file name because it's too big. You, you will not be able to see the, the file on your radio. So let's just adjust this. What I'm going to do is take out... This should work. Let's go... change it to just say that. Now we should be able to see that in our radio. Now we can take our SD card out of the computer and plug it into our radio. So let me do that. Okay. It's easier to take the screen off to get the SD card in. And there we go, our SD cards in. Now, let me switch over to the overhead cam so you can see what happens when I turn the radio on. Now, when we turn our radio on. Welcome to OpenTX. Because we've got a SD card in there, now we're hearing the sounds. Now, to update our uh, mod protocol module, we have to go to System, Page Across until we come to the SD card, move down to Firmware, push Enter, and now you can see the firmware there. The latest version that we've downloaded so you're going to long press and then you must be careful here if you had an external module and you do not want to update the, uh, the uh, external module and you do not want to update that by mistake so make sure you select internal push enter
and there we go our firmware is updated so we can exit now if you found this video useful and helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down and if i can help you in any way please leave comments in the comment section below and i will try to assist you thanks for watching happy flying bye for now